Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series. This is episode number 34 and today we are returning with an absolutely massive triple header with Cardiff City as we take on Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge in the Premier League in a big battle for Europe. Then Manchester United in the Carabao Cup semi-final at Wembley three days later and then four days after that, so all in the space of a week, we've got Chelsea, uh, sorry, Crystal Palace at home in the FA Cup fourth round. This is, I would say, a series-defining episode. Make or break for Cardiff City. Can we make Europe this year? We'll find out today. And of course, in the last episode, you saw our 2-1 victory over Brentford in the FA Cup third round, and then our victory over Reading in the Carabao Cup quarter final. Uh, I played just a one game off camera, and we beat Stoke by three goals to two in a big season-defining game, I feel, for Cardiff City. Uh, taking on Stoke right now, there are several points adrift of safety uh, in the relegation zone right now, away from home. It seemed like it was going to be a banker. But we only just got past Brentford and Reading, and in this game, when Cornelius for Stoke was sent off just seven minutes in for siphing down Geordie from behind for no justifiable reason, it seemed like it was going to be an easy win for Cardiff. We went to the break, though, still tied at 0 0, couldn't break Stoke down. So in the second half, after I got aggressive in the dressing room and said, Lads, wake up! Wake up! We just got past Brentford and Reading, lower league opposition, and it's still 0-0 against 10 men Stoke in the drop, several points adrift of safety. Wake up! And in the second half, we did two goals in six minutes. First for Tolo, who's been a brilliant pickup on a free transfer. Great steal for us this year. And then Jason making it 2-0. I was thinking, there we go. There we go. Our Spaniards are leading this team forward. But we, we almost... Threw it away, and we so easily could have done. Barini made it 2-1, and 10 men stoke half the deficit. And I was going, it's okay, it's all right, we're still in the lead, we got a man advantage. But then he scored again 10 minutes later, and I was thinking, oh my god, we, we, we're doing it again. It's the classic Cardiff choke. It happened last year, happened the year before, when we're going for a European place, we're in good form, we'd have a really bad result, and then start to crack away mid-season. It's 2-2, but with nine minutes to go, Jason wins and takes and scores a penalty as he smashed it. He was not watching that one get stopped. Made it 3-2 and uh, we won the game. And I tell you what, that was a big moment in the season. That Absolutely big. I was fist pumping. I was up and down the touchline like, come on! Massive result. And uh, yeah, so right now after that one game in the Premier League, we are approaching halfway point in the season with one game behind it. And as things stand, it's incredibly tight in the race for Europe. Now, we're currently four points behind Spurs and Chelsea in fourth and fifth, respectively. But right now, one point clear of Arsenal in seventh. So we occupy that sixth and final European spot. We're only two points clear of City, though. And they've got three games in hand on us as well. So that's why this game against Chelsea today is absolutely massive. Right now, we're already a few points adrift of the teams but above us. We need to cut the gap on them and try and pull away from the chasing pack and of course the cups as well as we know this is this is probably our best shot of getting to Europe hence why I'm so hyped for today's episode because you know the Carabao Cup semi-final a, a chance to reach the final it's a one leg affair as well at Wembley if you don't play at Old Trafford that's big for us as well that's 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 an absolutely massive game probably the biggest game of the series and of course the fourth round the FA Cup as well we never got past the fifth round so we've got to make sure we get through against championship position we cannot afford to have three defeats today and lose our European chances in the cups and have our European chances in the league take a big den it's it's a huge huge episode today and obviously after what happened today with uh, with Millwall obviously you'll be watching the episode tomorrow but uh yeah I can't I can't take more heartbreak I can't take more heartbreak come on Cardiff come on here we go Chelsea away first game Stamford Bridge four points behind them and they got a game in hand as well they can go seven points clear and still have a game in hand come the end of the game this is massive. I, I can't I can't overstate how big today's episode is. If if we if we have a shocker today, the season could be done midway through January. So here we go. Uh, this is our team for the game. 4-2-3-1. And uh, right now in the injury report, just Stefano is carrying a slight knock. Everyone else is fit. Latif still not going to feature yet. I'm going to give us one twenty three games. Uh, or possibly loan him out before we put him back in the team. I say put him back in the team. We never really used him, have we? And uh, anyway, this is the team, uh, this will be the team for the game. We've uh, got an honor in goal. 
And that for Davis, Kimpembe, Metham and Audrey Ozola, who are midfield duo being Cam Rasser and McKenney. The attacking midfield trio, Sessi on the left, Jason on the right, and Vitola, who's been, again, brilliant this season as our advanced playmaker, and Paleo Maria is up top. He has been really struggling this season. He's looking to shadow himself over the past two years. And on the bench, Moreira, Jordi, Goncalves, McTominay, Warprow, Smolov, and Fernandez. So first game, here we go. First of the big three, baby. Chelsea away, Stamford Bridge. We owe Chelsea after what happened in our last match. Go out there and get revenge. There we go. There we go. There's the motivation. That's what we want to see. The, the green highlight. That's all we want to see there. Just McKenney didn't uh, didn't improve. This is. Oh, I'm tense, man. I am so tense. I've got to take the camera off director, but um, yeah, here we go. You know, for those that have asked since the start of the series, you know why I play on 2D Classic. I'm old school, man. I'm old school. I'm sorry. To, to me, FM is a 2D game, and I think I think it always will be for me. You know, I think it always will be. Anyway, first highlight coming to Chelsea. One minute in, but Sessegnon wins it back. Cardiff send it long to Maria, who we slide this earlier in the episode. And oh, he shot me up. One minute and a quarter in the game. What a start for Cardiff. One nil up. Sessignon down the left, played a lovely ball over the top, Maria latches onto it, nice first touch, sets himself forward, and it would have finished at the near post there, pretty poor goalkeeper I'd say to be beaten from that angle, but Maria still has the composure stroke at home despite being on a bit of a struggling run since the season began, 1-0 Cardiff. But now a highlight for Chelsea as the Blues try and respond. It's Leon Goretzka who goes for goal and Onana beats it away. Big game for Onana today. Come on, Andre. Come on, Andre. I can tell you're going to be under threat all game long. How are you going to perform under pressure? Come on. Maria Sessignon. There's a good chance for a break here. Oh, Vitolo. If he had more pace, he would have been through. That's the problem with those veterans. Not as quick as they used to be. Kepa claims Jason's corner. Still 1-0 though. What a start from Cardiff. Looking decent out there. Sessignon on the ball coming forward. And still Ryan. And Maria gets robbed as Chelsea clear. And oh no, the long balls. Morata. Oh, Nana again. Oh, Nana again. I do feel like long balls and set pieces will always be our Achilles heel one way or the other. You know, those are the two types of goals we can see more than any really. As Odorizola's on the ball. And the right back slides it into Paleo. Oh, he must have slipped when he took the shot because the ball was coming back off the post to him, but he didn't react on time. Christensen cleared. That could have been that could have been two 0 Here is Stanford Bridge. Kante. Goretzka. Chelsea looking for an opening. We're 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 not giving him one. Graven Birch slides it through. Morata easily caught by Onana, but that's good defending there. They didn't really break clear. Still up by one. Oh, we should be 2-0 up, though. That was a brilliant kick by Onana, though, to find Sessignon, as uh, we'll play our way forward down the left-hand side here. And as Ryan sends it long, Maria's in behind again. And again, he gets it wrong. Straight at Kepa this time. That's three golden chance of Maria. I know he's taken one, but he could have had a hat-trick inside the first half an hour. Last year's Maria buries all three of those. Good movement from Maria, though. This is more like it. Free kick for Chelsea. Oh, Nana. Brilliant save again. What a game he's having. There we go. There we go. Half time. 1 0 up. And uh, also, Fulham are taking points off Everton now as well, which is good to see. Again, if, if one of the teams are going to miss out, you know, I, I'd want to see Everton get in there. But of course, we want to get in there really badly. Second half to begin. Say nothing to the boys at the break. As things stand, this will be an absolutely massive victory in our hunt for European football. Half an hour to go. Still up by one. And uh, Goretzka striding forward, plays it long. But it's a tackle by McKenney. And it's a straight red. It's a straight Now, the ball went very far there. I will say that. So he must have got a lot of the ball, but clearly a lot of the man as well. 24 minutes to go down to 10 men. I'm going to change our tactics. And to be fair, our chances today for Maria have come from balls that are played into space. So I think I'm going to do that. And uh, I think we'll also sort of drop the tempo down slightly lower now. And also time waste a little bit more. Be more disciplined in our creative freedom as well. And uh, Vitola will come off and I'll bring on Scott McTominay, who, uh, who tries hard out there, as we know. So that, that'll do. I'm, I'm still confident. I'm still confident. Come on, Cardiff. Pulisic into Graben Birch and two minutes later Chelsea are coming forward with Marcus Alonso down left hand side with space to cross and the far post is the American Pulisic 
And Chelsea, right after that red card, are back on level terms. Oh, Weston McKenney. Weston, honestly, keep your discipline. We're 1-0 up at Stamford Bridge. Pulisic with an easy finish. Can't blame Onana for that one. Chelsea back on level terms. Well, a point would still be a good result. I'm going to a final sub here. Uh, I think I'll bring on Fernandez, a pressing forward up there for the, uh, for the final few minutes. And as things stand, it's still going to be a good result if we can hold on to it. And it looks like we will. So final score, Chelsea on Cardiff 1. Perspective. Perspective. Chelsea had some good chance. So now made some good saves. It's a point. It was away at Stamford Bridge. Perspective. You, you're unlucky today. You're unlucky. Would have been a huge win, though. Let's, let's not try and deny that. We'd have been an absolutely massive win, that. But now we've got the biggest game of the series to come directly afterwards. And a point away at Stamford Bridge is a good result. Going to find McKenny a week's wage. You'll accept that. Whenever it's a straight red card, I always find a week's wages. And whenever it's just a, uh, a red card through two yellow cards, I'd always issue a warning. And I always feel that's the best way to do it. And, um, yeah. Manchester United, Carrick Cup semi-final. It's all right. It's, it's okay. So that's a decent result there. The unbeaten run continues. All right, here we go. Manchester United, Carabao Cup semi-final. Let's do it. Biggest game of the save. Let's do it. We've only beaten them once in 10 games, but come on. Let's do it. So same system, because I tell you what, I'm liking this. I've surprised myself with this. You know, I'm very reluctant to make tactics of my own, particularly early on in the save. I know it's five seasons in, but it's going to be a long one, I feel. But uh, I'm surprised we've been doing okay with this system. And uh, this will be our team for the game. Quite a few changes on the back of that draw there. And uh, this will be our lineup. Onana in goal. Back for Oregon. Calvez, Kimpembe, Jordi and Stefano. In the middle, War Prowse, McTominay. Because McKenny, McKenny's not suspended for the game. But after his red card, you can't really play him with this one, can you? So McTominay in for the game. And he gets his uh, form club to release him as well. On the big stage. Big chance for Scott today. Putting a good display. On the wings. Now, this is interesting. Murphy on left. He's played really well this season in limited minutes. We like Josh Murphy. Don't forget how good he was in season one. Don't forget his goals that, you know, practically kept in the Premier League. Murphy on the left. And uh, Jason on the right, of course, and Vitolo to Cam. Cam, that's a FIFA word, advanced playmaker. And uh, Fernandez, who's all, all of his goals this year, all four goals have come in the Carabao Cup. Four goals, Fernandez, that's not much, is it? Anyway, on the bench, uh, Marrera, Evans, the vice captain, Andrea Zola, Lerma, Camarasa, Sessignon, and Maria as well. Second game, biggest one to save. Manchester United, Wembley, Carabao Cup semi final. What's our general psyche heading into the dressing room? Are we calm for this one? Are we calm for the match? Are we, are we calm here? Are we assertive? Are we going to assert ourselves on this game? Or are we passionate? How are we going into this game here? I think, I think, I think we're calm. I think we're calm. You know, it's, it's been a long time coming, but we're calm, we're relaxed, we're loose out there, we're okay. We're okay. And I expect nothing but a win from this match to keep our good run going. Come on, there's, there's no reason we can't do this. That's, that's done nothing. All right, the old reliable. I have faith in you. Get out there and make a difference. Okay, that's, that's, that's not bad. That's not... There we go. That's more like it. And, and, and go on, Fernandez. Go on, Fernandez. They're, they're happy. They're happy. We're, we're calm, lads. Lads. It's our first semi-final, but lads, we're calm, all right? We're calm. We're approaching this game with a calm mind. We're relaxed out there. First time, like coming to Cardiff. Go on, enjoy yourselves out there today, boys. Jason down the right-hand side. Sends it long to Fernandez. The first touch is brilliant. And the finish... Not so much. We do miss a lot of one-on-ones, don't we? Oh, Fernandez, four goals in the competition. Great movement, but finish wasn't the best. And uh, Manchester United escape, and that's what it was, an escape. Werner to Casemiro, and his boys cut up by Murphy, but only temporarily as Mario Fernandez crosses the back stick. Sean gets on the end of it. And 16 minutes here at Wembley. Manchester United do go in front. Well, it was a hopeful ball by Casemiro out wide. Murphy did well initially to nod it away from danger, but Fernandez on the swivel. What a cross that is. And for Chong, with the composure, gets in behind the youngster Stefano and pokes it past Onana. 1-0 to the favourites. And now we've got to make sure we don't collapse. Keep a calm head out there, lads. Keep a calm head. No pressure. No pressure. Stay cool out there. No pressure. No pressure. Goncal is on the ball. As we're, uh, we're passing our way forward from inside our own half. No no, no pressure right now. Just, just passing it forward pretty quickly. 
United pressing, but not going in too hard on us. As McTominay plays on the top, Fernandes is through this time, and again, it's Lissell with the save. Another chance goes begging. I think it might be a bit too casual out there. Might be a little bit too casual out there. Fernandes on 6.6, .6, two one-on-ones missed. His body language is very poor. And uh, right now, we're still trailing. Well, you can't say he's not had his chances, Fernandes. You can't say he's not had his chances on the big stage. And, and for Palaio, now he missed those chances against Chelsea, but he did score a crucial goal early on. The goal that got us a point, lest we forget. And I think he's been waiting for a big game for him to prove himself here. Subpar season for him. I think he's been waiting for this. He's been waiting for this chance. And we hurt by putting him on the bench such a big game, despite being our best player. I'm going to bring him on in the second half. I'm going to say to the boys here, you know, we've done okay. But I'm going to say to the boys calmly again, it's time for him to dig in and give everything you've got left tonight. We deserve to win this match. We deserve to. We've had the chances. So let's go and do it. Fernandez stressed out. We don't worry about him, mate. You're on the bench now. Where's Maria? Where's Maria? There he is. Maria. He's deep in thought. You're coming on, mate. And calmly, I'm going to say, mate, I've got faith in you. I've got faith in you, mate. Yeah. Jason already looks motivated out there, but uh, to Vitolo, our veteran out there, he's got to help lead this team here. I know he's not a team leader. He's actually one of the, the worst leaders in the team. If not the worst leader in the team, he's a veteran. So I'm going to say to him, I'm going to say to him, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the performance out there. He's, he's deep in thought. He's deep in thought. Come on, Vitolo, step up, mate. Step up. You're not just here to pick up a paycheck. You're here to help lead this team. Come on, boys. That'll do it for the half-time team talks. It's second half underway. Maria is on. We're down by one goal. Approaching the hour mark. Still down by one as Scott plays that wire towards Helder. And gone. Calvis down his left-hand side. Plays it back to McTominay. And he's got Stefano down the right there. And Jason too. It comes to the latter to find the former. And Stefano's taken down. And I think it's a penalty. It's a VAR. Well, this is a very big moment in the final. And Chong was the guilty party, bringing down our youngster on the right. Who was beaten by him, if you remember, for the goal. Penalty or not? Yes, penalty. Penalty given after video review. And Jason is going to take it. The captain, the team leader on the big stage at Wembley. Scores! 11 goals for the season, his best goal scoring year in a Cardiff City shirt. He is really embracing the armband. Jason, with ice in his veins, puts it past the goalkeeper. Is it Lissell? I think it's Lissell. Yeah, Jonas Lissell. And into the back of the net. It's 1 1. We still got that like, Jason will take penalty there on the top left for some reason. They used to happen in my old FM save. Oh, Maria! Maria! I thought we'd released Kenneth Zahor. Oh my god, are you... Free kick, what a second half though. War Prowse. Kimpembe! Kimpembe! Presnel Kimpembe! And the comeback is complete at Wembley! 2-1! Cardiff lead! What a second half. War Prowse with a free kick. Deep to the back stick. Presnel gets in behind. And for all the goals we've conceded from set pieces, this will make up for it if it proves to be the winner. 2-1! Right, I'm going to take off with Tolo. And I'm going to bring on Camarasa. And we'll swap he and James War Prowse. I missed him, he's 3-1! I missed a goal! I missed a goal in the cup semi-final! There's Murphy crosses, that's why he's in the team! He's been brilliant this year in limited minutes. Maria off the bench makes a 3-1. Fuck the change, it's done. I pretty much always make free changes. Fuck it, it's over! Finally, we're into a cup final! Yes, finally! What a second half display from Cardiff. It's not sunk in. Three goals. Despite trailing by one. We were so calm out there as well. Even when we were behind by Chong, we, we still believed. There's, there's such a togetherness about this squad. I love it. We still believed. They're, look at them. They're confident. They're convinced. They're confident and convinced. Everyone had a great display in that second half. Everyone was fantastic. And that, that's what I'm going to say to the boys. Well, calmly, lads. 
I tell you what, that was really special. Nobody gave us a chance, but you played magnificently. Congratulations. In fact, you've all dreamt of playing in the final, and now you're going to be doing it. I'm delighted for you all. That right there was a display of psychology. And who started the comeback? Jason. Jason. Oh, captain, my captain. Our first ever game at Wembley, and we win it. Jason, captain, got us back in it. 11 goals for the season. He's, he's only missed one penalty all year long. Look at this, 10 goals in 17 in the Premier League. In terms of assists, yes, he's having quite a low one for us this year. But he could still get up there towards the end of the season. But the goal is 10 in 17 for Jason. This is why he stays. There's been interest. There's been bids for Jason. I'm not going to lie to you. There's been £30 million bids from Milan. But he stays. He's captain. He loves Carl City. And he's never complained about me rejecting bids for him to go to a bigger team. Paris Saint-Germain want Maria. Forget it. I know he's had a tough start to the season, but that game there showed you why. Oh, God, no. Jason, talk him round, mate. Talk him round. Talk him round, Jason. Oh, fucking hell. Come with a huge pay rise. Maria, there's, there's bigger things than that. There's bigger things than that. You're a very influential player in the dressing room. That kind of impact is something I can't afford to lose. I ain't said myself that way until now. It feels good to be seen as an important player. I'm happy to say thanks. Oh, the kid is so humble. The kid is so humble. He, he's, he's there and he's thinking, yeah, I'm 21 years old. I'm banging in the goals. Yes, not this season, but the past two years. I, I'm the main man. Let's be honest here. We know Jason. I know, I know Jason's my leader, but I'm the main man. No, and Anna's not going either. But um, I'm, I'm the main man. Let's be honest here. 21 years old. The big clubs in Europe want me. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not only Nana as well. I'm disappointed that you blocked my transfer to Inter. A move there would have allowed me to play continental football. Well, we can, we can qualify for continental football this year. Andre, y you know, there's no reason at all you can't help us qualify for that if you knuckle down. There we go, there we go. But if, if we fall short of it, you're going to want to leave. Mm, okay, all right. Now, I'm annoyed that's gone down as a promise there because I didn't strictly promise him anything. But okay, do you know what, mate? It's fine. Because in the Carabao Cup final, we'll be the favourites for it. We've got either Watford or Bournemouth, who, to be fair, have won it the past two years. They're going for a free peat. Of, of the Carabao Cup, Bournemouth. They're going for a free P of it. So I'd rather face Watford, personally. But here we go, Watford versus Bournemouth. Who are our opponents in the final? We're going to find out right now, live on camera. I think I prefer Watford because of Bournemouth's record. This processing's taken a while. But it's going to be... Watford. They did it on the penalties. Oh, don't bring up penalties. It's still fresh. It's still fresh in my mind. Penalties. Watford, though. Watford in the final. It's the team I wanted. It's the team we've got. Right now in the Premier League, Watford has sat in where? Right down, yeah, right down towards the bottom of the table. Only three points off Southampton. Watford in the Carabao Cup final for, for, for Cardiff. Why, why have we not got a... There we are. Confirmation. Watford in the final. That's it. That's our ticket to Europe right there. Let's cash it in. When's that? Out of interest. Uh, midway through February. All right. Okay, we've got, uh, we got some big Premier League games to come in that run as well, including Everton. That's going to be a big one, isn't it? Um, good. Good, 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 good. Right. Yeah, I'm confident. I'm confident. How do I... Is there a way to get rid of the friendlies here? Uh, no, there's not. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? There should be a, a filter there for friendlies, shouldn't there, really? Oh, there's no competition, isn't it? You moron. Um, but anyway, it's been, it's been a great run, this for Cardiff. Look, we, we only lost one game since September. That's, that's just fantastic. If we don't make Europe this year, I, I'm not sure it's ever going to happen. No more counting down the hours. No more wishing you were here. I stopped believing all the journey told me don't before I call it a day. Maybe this will be my year. I really hope so, man. 
Milner wants to leave as well, so I'll say I'll look so as good as I can for good of the career. Yeah, that's totally fine. I don't, I don't mind. Obviously, dressing room leader, but um, if he wants to leave, he, want, he can leave. That's fine. No more counting down the hours. No more wishing you were here. I stopped believing on a journey. Told me don't before I called it a day. Maybe this will be my year. Right, so here we go. Crystal Palace, the championship side in the FA Cup fourth round. Uh, right now, Palace in the championship ninth place. So, got to fancy our chance here, especially being home as well. So, Botka is coming back to the Cardiff City Stadium. Uh, McKenney's got a, uh, given a further too much ban. It says the ban will apply for all English domestic competitions, but he wasn't banned for that, uh, for that game against United. And he's not banned for this game either. So, that, that must be a little, uh, little error there, but uh, either way. And uh, yeah, here we go. It's uh, it's not us kicking off yet. Are we 3 p.m.? Yeah, we are indeed 3 p.m. Okay, so here we go. 3 p.m. kickoff as United beat Reading. And this is it at home. Big game still. I, I know we're buzzing after that win uh, against United in the Carrick Cup semi final. It's still a massive game. And that's why heading into the game, it's, uh, it's still going to be a really strong team out there. There are a few changes, but despite United coming in just a few days' time back in the Premier League, it's still a really strong team. Really strong team for Onana. This is how serious I am about qualifying for continental football. You're not getting rest time now, mate. You're not getting rest time now. You're our number one, mate. Back four, Davis, Kimpembe and Jordi, because these two have got a strong for good partnership for us at the back, I feel. So I can't really afford to rotate them quite frequently. And it's Stefano, who did well to recover after uh, after in the first goal United scored. The only goal they scored, he was, he was beaten by Chong. He let him get in behind, but he, he recovered in the second half. Remember, won the penalty. They got us back in the game. So Stefano at right back. Midfield, Joe Camarasa and Lerma. Because I like Lerma. I like him. He's all right. Ball midfielder and uh, attacking midfield trio. Cessignon back in on the left. Jason, of course, the captain on the right. But Tola will still be our advanced playmaker with Maria up top. Back in. FA Cup fourth round. I want a hat-trick today. I want a hat-trick. On the bench, Marrera, Evans, Device, Audrey Ozola, McTominay, Warprouse, Murphy, and Smolov as well. Fernandez, this will, this will hurt him. This will hurt Fernandez. Drop for this game. This will hurt him, but he'll bounce back stronger. Why? 19 determination. He'll want to come back stronger. And that's it. That's the lineup. FA Cup fourth round. Crystal Palace. Sabotka now captains Crystal Palace as well. Tell you what, I really like that. I like that a lot. He's had seven assists this year in 28 games as well. He just, he just didn't really do too well for us in the two years he spent, did he? He didn't do too well. Now, I know we were a losing team back then, but either way, he didn't, he didn't do too well. But I knew he'd do well, and he's, he sort of found his level, the level below the Premier League, and he's doing all right there. I'd love to see him lead Crystal Palace to the Premier League with his mental stats. So for the team talk for this one, I'll say to the boys, I'm going to go assertive now, assertively. I expect, no, no, calmly, calmly, keep it calm, keep it calm. Keep it calm, but say the same thing as last time. I expect, I expect nothing but a win from this match. Yeah, so like here we go, here we go. Early highlight, two and a half minutes in. Stefano's throw to Vitolo's headed away, but Lerma plays the Camarasa on the edge. Oh, Vic Camarasa. Now, you can tell he's playing for a contract, can't you? Very rare goal scorer, but that's his third of the season. And his second in recent weeks. He scored, was it, it was against Reading he scored. Or, or against Brentford. I think it might have been Brentford, actually. Great finish by Cam Rasta, though. Arrowed into the bottom corner. He's, he's, he's really stepping up, isn't he? Just goes to show you as well. He was a starter in our team. A regular starter. Played pretty much all of our games in the Premier League. And I think he took his position for granted, really. I think he got complacent out there. But this year, first year we've had him, don't forget, where he's not always been in the first eleven. He's been in and out of the team, mainly due to the tactic change as well. And I think he's trying to show us here, don't forget about me, you know? Don't forget what I can do. Don't forget what I've got in my locker when you give me the chance. So, yes, okay. I've been good, but nothing spectacular, but this is what I can do. This is what I can do. 12 minutes into the second half as Crystal Palace send it long to Barnes down left hand side. Stefano playing catch up here after we surrender possession. And now Gabriel Barboza is in behind and hits the post. And can't turn in the rebound because Kimpembe managed to turn it behind before he could react to it. Great defending from Presnel. That's why he became our first 100 grand a week player. He's not just here for the paycheck. He's also here for the project. I'm going to bring on War Prowse with Vitola. Now I'm going to put Camarasa in a more advanced role as well. We only really see him sitting deeper, really. But now I'm giving him a chance playing a bit more advanced in this team. And, uh, and let's see what we can do for the final 11 minutes. Still, still leading by one. And our centre-backs today, 7.1 each. Fantastic. Right, coming towards the final couple of minutes. 
Final couple of changes onto the picks. McTominay and Murphy coming on for Lerma and Sessignon. And that's a really good rear guard display from Cardiff City as well. No clean sheets in quite a few games. But it's not our goals to get us through in this game. It's our tight defence. And with our new centre-backs in Jordi and Kimpembe in. In a new right-back in Stefano. In the team as well, the youngster as well. So that's a good rear guard display. That 7.2 for Kimpembe. That brilliant piece of defending on Barboza is what got us into the next round. So I'll say to the boys, well done. That was a good win for us. We did well. We did well. The body language is good. And there we go. That'll do it. Carabao Cup final to come. FA Cup fifth round to come. Still in the European places in the Premier League. I tell you what, this is a big episode. It was really make or break for us. And we really showed what we're made of. The unbeaten run still stretches back to midway for October. This has been fantastic. And I know, of course, a lot of the games have been friendly, so we will uh, we'll get away from that. So we don't uh, we don't get too caught up in all those green dots as you sometimes can. But either way, it's still been fantastic. It's still been fantastic for Cardiff. We're, we're really coming into our own now. I really, I really believe that. We're coming into our own. This is the season of togetherness. And Jason is the one leading us. And that was today's episode of the Football Magic series, guys. A big fan of your fortune. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like. As like, so I call it much appreciated. And he really helped channel out as well. Uh, much love to you all. What an episode today. And I'll see you for the next episode very soon. Uh, do we come back for the, the, the Carabao Cup final? Or do we play any of the Premier League games before that? I, I think we should just come straight back for it, really. Now, I'm thinking about the Everton game. But I think we should just come straight back for it. Carabao Cup final at Wembley. And, uh, in, in fact, perhaps, I never do this. I pretty much always do cup finals on their own. But how about a double header including a cup final? How about Everton at home in a massive game for Europe between two of the boys trying to break the top six dominance? Our rivals are the save, don't forget, at the moment. And then Watford in the Carabao Cup final. Yeah? Yeah, I think, that, I think that's a good plan. Let's do that. Oh, I can't wait. I'll see you in the next episode very soon. I love you very, very much. And I'll see you for the next episode. Oh, I can't wait. Very soon. Bye now.